crazy new project. I decided to uh, age a cello. This, I've got no idea what the hang I'm doing. It wasn't a very expensive cello, so but pulling the black off was crazy, but I'm gonna, yeah, it's not nice wood, so I'm gonna try and do my aging on it and see what I can come up with. It should be fun anyway, but man, that took a lot of sanding. Like this stuff does not want to come off, but um, I'm gonna go over it with uh, silver or gold, so it should be cool. Anyway, let's see how we go, huh? Man, it's like two days of sanding. Whew. Righty-ho, I think I'm gonna freeze right here and try and figure out what exactly I'm gonna do. I quite like this brown. So, I'm trying to decide whether to do that a blue or keep it brown. Hmm. I should probably definitely mask out the black. Anyway, I see how the blue takes because there was some really weird stuff right here where I <laughs> sanded it's like um, some sort of structural stuff that came through the wood. It's the first time for everything, huh? So, uh, I'm liking the blue. Imagine that with like some silver or gold. I think it's going to be kick ass. But uh, we'll see how we go. Right, back to it. So, first coat is done. This stuff. Got off Amazon. I did it with my guitar. It's pretty cool. It's Everything's pretty bright though, and the, the grain is uh, not the prettiest. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be, well, I kind of didn't, because when you kind of sand back a finish, and you're not really too sure what is underneath it, if it's junky or not. Oops, but my cats just keep on giving. This. So, my thoughts are that I'm probably, <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty handsome. Probably gonna just uh, sand it back, re another apply another paint, see so swish marks and stuff like that. Um, and then go from there, I guess. I'm trying to debate whether to put true oil over it in the end, because it will give it a, like a darker brownie blue color, which could be kind of cool. Um, but, you know, we we'll to figure that one out as we go. Also, I've come up here and this is was um, what it came with. It's kind of boring, so. Oh. So I made a pretty one. And I'm going to also age this. This is the, for the base. So I'm trying to decide what color to go with um, as far as it's either gold or the grey. I'm kind of... kind of think gold, maybe. These are my <laughs> big decisions I normally have to make. My guitar I did was blue and silver, that's cool. But I know blue and gold is kind of royal. Could be cool. Hmm. Big decisions. Anyway, just another video update. Right, so here's like the custom uh, custom bridge that I made, just painting it up now. It's pretty cool. I think it's going to look pretty rad against the blue. Um, it's a little bit different, but it's going to be cool. Let me see that working. Righty ho. So circling back around, I actually made it darker. Um, the blue, this blue was... I don't know, I didn't really feel it, so I added some black in there as well. And obviously with my gold over top. And I also tried to create some green where there was none. And I'm actually really digging it. Um, so yeah, now I'm just doing the pearlescent spray. And put it back together. It's it's a crazy one. I have never seen a cello that looks like this, so that was the whole point of it. Um, yeah, see how it goes, huh? But um... Yeah, she's pretty much done as far as I'm going to go with with this um, technique and stuff. But um, I am thinking, just for an idea, I don't know if it's going to do it, but like maybe 3D print some sort of, um, you know, like my style kind of pick guard thing here, just to have a bit of, bit of interest there. But I'm not sure she needs it. Um, she's pretty cool. I like, I'm actually quite happy the way this turned out because... I basically created kind of a rough kind of wood 
wood grain with the um, the gold paint um, wax and it just yeah some of it turned out really cool I like the, like the highlights on here and I don't mind all the all the roughness it actually adds like a bit of a story to her which considering she was just a black cello I'm kind of happy the way she turned out um, but yeah this might either be either be the end or I will do one more video with the new kind of pickguardy thing on it but I like the way this turned out this looks great yeah, if it focuses I think it works pretty pretty well Now she is done, so I basically decided to call her Bella. It's kind of classy and classic <laughs> the cello is. Um, but yeah, I'm really stoked on the way she turned out, and I did pivot in the end and did add um, another piece of uh, 3D art here, which I really think helps just blend it all in together and um, makes it more of a complete piece in my mind anyway. So I like the way that the um, custom bridge works with the um with this here and also i like the you know it's, i wanted to create a bit of a story so it's obviously that the, of the um, famous statue with my take on it um old man of the sea um fighting the kraken which are both in my um, ink trinkets uh, jewelry line so i thought it was pretty cool play homage to that um but yeah i am really stoked what you tuned out I do need to learn how to play. I can only <laughs> play a couple of notes pretty badly, but um, if it's not motivation not to let you know to learn, I don't know what is. But um, anyway, thank you uh, for taking the time to watch this video. This is my first go at doing something like this, but I'm sure I'll get better along the way. But this, it's a shame that I missed uh, doing all my guitars, but um, I'll, I'll keep on working on it. Anyway, thank you.